Okay, so we're going to give you a little bit of a run through with the uh, Optimate test. <clears throat> I see a lot of people all over the internet struggling with diagnosing battery problems really. Uh, this is a great little tool for mechanics as well as end users, um, particularly if you're not too sure how to use a multimeter. This is a nice simple bit of kit to tell you how your battery's doing, how well it copes with starting the bike or your car or any vehicle, 12 volt battery. Also shows you how the charging system is doing and making sure that the uh, battery is being charged correctly while the engine is running. Uh, suitable for all different vehicles, different types of uh, 12 volt battery, lithium ion, AGM, gel, standard, all the, all the types of batteries that we see on uh, bikes, power sports, jet skis, uh, as well as your standard car maintenance free batteries. So in the box here, I'm going to try and do this all one handed. Got the actual tool itself and a little connector. Now, if you already have an Optimate charger with a lead on your bike, that just plugs straight into that, which I have here. And if you don't, then the tool also comes with battery clips. Get them out there, so you can plug that onto your battery, connect that, so you can just test any battery that you have available. Alright, so we're just going to do a quick run on a couple of bikes here. Plug that in. So this is my Optimate charging cable, just wired up to the battery under the seat. I'll take the seat off, but uh, there you go. So we've got a good, uh, good voltage there, so that tells us that we're, we're all in the range of somewhere between 12.3 and 12.9 volts. So that indicates the battery is okay at the moment. Now you can have that situation and then when you switch the ignition on your voltage might disappear completely or it'll disappear completely when you try to start the bike because your battery is not in the best condition. So we can just turn on the ignition and see the volt drop with ignition. So we're still in the 12 volt range so that's fine. And we can crank the engine and what will happen is the LED will move around to the left uh, and then we will record the lowest start voltage while we're cranking and then it will move on to the testing the charge phase and then the LED will move back around to the right and show us our charging voltage. So the advantage of this is with the digital multimeter you will very often not be able to see the minimum voltage because it happens so fast a digital meter just can't keep up with its display and is unable to show you your actual minimum voltage so you might think you saw 10 but it may have actually dropped to 8 or 7 or less. Yeah. voltage dropping back down to rest voltage so everything is good so we had a minimum volts of 9 volts still in the green zone so that's perfectly fine we had a good charging voltage of between 14 and 14.5 volts so that indicates that our charging system and the reg rec is working properly we're not undercharging we're not overcharging so we know everything is good so very very simple no real knowledge to know all the colors tell you what you need to know you don't need to know how to use a multimeter you don't need to select a different mode just hook it up, start the bike, and all your information is given to you very, very quickly. Okay, so we're now on my uh, little old R6 race bike. So we can see there, this uh, has a Motobat lead acid battery in there. Uh, again, so the seat is on. This is just plugged into my little Optimate charging lead, which is attached to the side of the bike. So we can see the voltage is good. Switch ignition on, got fuel pump priming. Okay, so struggles a little bit, but it's okay. We're still at around 12 volts, so that's good. 
and then we can hopefully start it. We've got a little manual choke on here. But we'll see the minimum voltage again and what we're charging at. So again, we can see our cranking voltage dropped to seven, which is to be expected. Uh, this bike doesn't sit on a charger, it doesn't really need to that often. Because it's an old carby model, so we don't have all those continual drains we have on ECUs these days. So that's not too bad, the charging is great, the rest voltage is great, so we have no problem. A little bit with a top up of uh, connecting up the Optimate, we'll just condition the battery a bit and get that cranking voltage a little bit uh, better but there's no, uh, no real issues there to worry about. Okay, so now we're on my van. Uh, the battery for this is under the seat, so a bit of a pain to get to when you jump to it. So what I've done is hooked up a little Optimate lead directed to the battery underneath all the covers. We have a charging point under the bonnet, but that's not ideal when we want to hook up to charge. Uh, using our Optimate, we want to have a, a direct connection to the battery so that it can do its job correctly. So we can see we're struggling a little bit here. The ignition is on the key. Well, it's, it's just on startup mode now. Vehicles these days draw a massive amount of current. Uh, and if you can hear that little whining in the background, most modern cars do that. That's just all the systems drawing power and they will make a bit of noise. So we'll turn the ignition fully on. And we can see that drops down a little bit more. Obviously the doors open as well. But still, it's okay. Uh, and this is a stop start as well, so uh, battery does get a bit of a hammering. Um, so we'll start the engine and we can watch those voltages. So you'll see the minimum voltage while we're cranking, then the charging voltage, and then we'll switch off and see the rest voltage come back straight away. All right, so you can see what was happening there. We've got a good charge voltage. Now, charging systems on vehicles these days are much more complicated than motorcycles. So you could see how the actual computer controlled charging system was operating there. It was getting the voltage up and once the voltage was up and there wasn't much load on it, it was actually cutting that charge voltage back down again. So these are kind of an intelligent charging system on, the, on vehicles these days. So bear that in mind when you're doing your testing. Um, but we could see the alternator and charging system was working, it got up to its maximum voltage 14.7, um, which is fine. Uh, and then you can see once the voltage got up there, the computer decided we didn't need to be charging the battery anymore, so it just reduced that voltage back down again. So that will self-regulate as you're driving, depending on what you're doing. So uh, that's how the little Optimate test can help you out, it gives you a lot of information, very easy to understand, no need to know how to use a multimeter and uh, you've got a great indication straight off of your battery condition um, so hopefully that helps you through this uh, little gadget which is really extremely useful and um, can save you a lot of time and hassle trying to find a problem which is all caused by a flat battery thanks for watching